Hello, I'm John Schellenberg, Professor of Philosophy at Mount St. Vincent University in Halifax, Nova Scotia, in Canada. I am the author of a book called Evolutionary Religion, which came out from Oxford University Press in 2013. This book has done very well, and I'm excited to say has now been translated into Polish. I'm very grateful to Tomasz Wyskowski, the translator, and to Woods University Press for publishing his translation. Though I've met and had discussion with Polish philosophers, I've never been to Poland. It's exciting to think that my ideas will be traveling your country without me. My ancestors lived in Europe for a long time. Some of them traveled from Switzerland in the 1500s to join the Mennonites in the Netherlands. Their descendants, fleeing persecution, moved from there to the Vistula Delta region of what was then Prussia. Russia came next, a couple hundred years or so later, and then in the 1870s, my great-grandparents came to Canada. I grew up hearing a lot about Prussia and using the language, Low German, Plautdeutsch, that emerged among the Mennonites there centuries before. But it's only recently that I realized that their location in the Vistula Delta places my ancestors in what is today Poland. So, long story short, even though I've never been to your country, my ancestors lived there for a considerable period of time. My book, Evolutionary Religion, is not as much about the past as it is about the future. It doesn't defend any existing form of religion, even the religion of the Mennonites, which I still find admirable in certain ways. This book puts all our thinking about religion into the context of deep time, in which even a few hundred thousand years is just the blink of an eye. From this perspective, humans have just got started in the enterprise of thinking and behaving religiously. My suggestion, a new one I believe, is that we should think of our species as still religiously immature and ask what sort of religion, if any, would fit such immaturity. I think there's an answer to this question and I describe it in the book. I think there's a form of religion that is fitted to our early stage of development that might deserve to be called evolutionary religion. This form of religion is quite different in fundamental ways from what's offered around us today, though it's still focused on the old idea of an ultimate transcendent reality. And these differences, this is one of the best things about it, make it possible for this form of religion to be reconciled with reason, to be a rational form of religion, which as a philosopher matters to me a great deal. This book does contain philosophical ideas. It synthesizes a decade of my work published elsewhere, but it aims to be accessible. It is written for a general audience. I hope you will enjoy it.